What's going on everyone? This is Volgris here, and welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial is not going to be on editing, it is going to be how you can make your Modern Warfare 3 graphics look better. Now, I was uh, browsing a forum and I happened to find these config settings in which you can use to uh, make your graphics better for Modern Warfare 3. Now, after playing two weeks of Battlefield 3 and going to Modern Warfare 3, I was pretty disappointed with the graphics. Now that I'm playing Modern Warfare more often, they don't look too bad, but if you have a better computer, you definitely deserve to be playing at better graphics. Now, they turned the graphics down for a number of reasons. I'm assuming because they had to make it run on consoles and they wanted it to uh, run as smooth as possible. But if you do have a PC that can run this, uh, be my guest. You may as well want to try these. I definitely know this will help some of you. And I'm going to be sending this to a couple people I know who play on PC that this might help out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on Start, uh, Computer, and then you can do your local C disk or whatever other drive you have Modern Warfare 3 installed on. You want to then locate to your uh, program file Steam, Steam Apps, Common, uh, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, and then once you're here, I create a shortcut to it on my desktop. Uh, you can choose to do so if you like. You're going to then click on Players. I believe if more than one account logged in on your computer, you should have folders here that organize these things. If you see that, just click on whatever uh, user you want to change the settings. Now what you want to do is you want to create a new folder. I guess you can create it inside of your uh, Steam directory. I'm just going to create it on my desktop. I already have one right here, but I'll just create another one. So name this folder Backup, or whatever you would like. Then you're going to just right click and copy all of these files into your backup directory. That way you can always fix it if you would like. And if your computer cannot run the settings, you can always restore them. Now, this also works the opposite way. You can also use this to make your graphics look worse, too. If you're running on a bad laptop, you can do the same deal. Now, what you're going to see is you're going to see config, and you're going to see config mp.cfg. Now, mp, I believe, stands for multiplayer, so that's the one we're going to be wanting to edit for today. You can change this. This will work on single player. What you want to do is you want to open with, and WordPad works the best. Notepad, it messes it all up. It looks like this. But WordPad, right here, will open it up so it's nice and aligned and it'll be a lot easier to find what we're looking for so right here uh, you can just you can just look at these and um, if you watch it in 720 you should be able to see everything that it says and I will do I will be doing this process uh, as I speak and you guys can just follow along so um, set AI corpse count to 32 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold in control hit F and then I am going to copy this right from here Okay, fine, next. And right here, it's already on 16. Okay, now 16, um, obviously, is a lot lower than 32. So when I change it to be 32, you should be making your corpse count higher, whatever that means, and overall making the quality better. So, All right, now the next thing you want to do is you're going to set RAA max quality to be 1. So you can just highlight this, okay, control F in this page, control V, and then enter. Now the quality is automatically set to be 0 set this to 1 alright uh, set RAA samples to be 8 control F control V and by default it's 2 okay um, RSSAO I believe is lighting much and there you go it's automatically on high and uh, it's already on 2 so that could just be a setting that's already in the game itself. Um, but you could change it to be low if you'd like. And I'm not sure if you can do ultra. Probably low or high. Uh, but you can mess around with that. Um, now copy this. Change this to be 16. And you could change these numbers to whatever you'd like. You know, nothing too high, nothing too low. As you can see, I'm changing it from uh, 4 to 16. And same deal with... Um, the minimum texture filter. I'm going to change this to be 16 also. And, uh, you know, just, you can get creative, but just make sure that you back up your config. And you can get creative with this. Just ensure that you have a backup of your config somewhere in your computer. That way you can always revert back to your old settings if anything were to happen. These settings, as far as I'm concerned, are not supported by Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, Activision. So keep that in mind. You know, I don't want to, um, be responsible if anything would happen to your computer, to your game. But this is, you know, what I use. So maybe you want to use it too. Uh, definitely, your frame rate will go down if your computer can definitely handle. I know some people, their frame rate in this game is maxed out. 
then this is definitely for you. For me, it's not too incredibly high. Keep in mind, I'm also running on the maximum that the game will allow you to. When I put all these numbers in the config, I get about between 40 and 55 frames a second, so it's not horrible. But um, if I ever feel like changing back... Also, if I were to make a frag movie or something like that, I can keep my settings on low for when I play. That way it runs smoother, but then when I actually record off of theater mode, I can then just drag this config in and I will have the high settings for when I record. And the last option that you have is set AR multi GPU to 1. And this is only if you have a Crossfire or SLI setup. And pretty much what that is is when you have multiple uh, video cards. That way you can obviously render the graphics faster. And if you have this, you would definitely be putting yourself at a disadvantage if this was at zero. I do not have dual video cards. That's why I'm going to keep mine at zero. I mean, it's not going to be an incredibly big difference. You're not going to notice all of a sudden it's going to look like you know, Battlefield 3. But it is going to make a difference. You may or may not notice it depending on what your settings are already at. This definitely does make a difference. Though. I saw my frame rate definitely drop and I saw my quality definitely getting better. It's just a matter of whether you guys try it and your guys' opinion. So, thanks for watching this tutorial. Oh, and last thing is you would like to uh, save this. Okay. I just saved it by hitting Control S. And if you ever want to replace the config, what you can do is you can just take the files from your backup. And I'm not sure if it really matters if you change these files, but these files definitely you're going to want to just right click, copy here, and replace and then you will have your old settings back to normal. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be doing a PC review on Modern Warfare 3 because I know there might have been some questions about that, like what's really in the game, is it dedicated servers, how that kind of stuff works. So I will be doing a tutorial on that, more of a review, and I also have a gameplay that I want to upload. It's not really amazing, but at least I can put my voice behind it. Last but not least, I know I kind of made a really short concept into a really long video, but you can check out my website. I just uploaded a uh, small bit of a graphics pack I'm working on. It's vulgars.co.cc is the name of my website. I'm kind of sort of in the works of uh, reformatting it. The old one wasn't really that good, and I didn't really like it all too much. I did, it just it was really hard to edit because uh, I was using front page, and that program is just a pain. So now I have a different program that I'm using, and I can make a lot better stuff with it. So, so I just wanted to thank you guys for checking out my website, and have a great day.